Hey guys, this is Candle, and welcome to a new gaming pickups video. It's the end of the month, so that means it's time to go through all the stuff I bought, and probably should not have, but did anyways. Anyways, uh, first up is one of the big releases from this past weekend. We've got, let's get it over here, we've got Detroit Become Human, which is the new game from David Cage. I've been really excited for this game. I don't think it's going to tread new ground in terms of uh, robot resurrect er, uh, insurrections and self-aware androids and stuff like that. But I do enjoy his game, so I'm interested to see where this goes. Uh, I haven't touched it yet, but I am doing a Let's Play of this. Expect uh, a new video for that tomorrow is when it's going to start. Anyways, uh, next couple games we're also going to go through pretty quickly because I just picked them up and haven't really had a chance to play them. So speaking of which, the other big release of the weekend was Dark Souls Remastered. Yeah, I never really got into Dark Souls the first time around. I did pick up Demon Souls, got into that a little bit, but not too heavily and then i tried dark souls and it just wasn't for me at the time however i've gotten more back into demon souls and really enjoyed it so i figured with the the new release of, of dark souls with all the dlc and everything on the ps4 and uh current gen systems and everything now is probably the best time to get into it so uh looking forward to playing that don't expect a let's play on it anytime soon if i do do one it's probably going to be after i have beaten the game at least once myself However, the next game you can expect a Let's Play sometime in the near future. I haven't quite figured out when yet, though. Uh, that is Shadow of the Colossus. This is the 2017. This is the 2017 PS4 remake. Uh, really looking forward to playing this. I don't expect it to play too much differently from the original or the HD remaster on PS3. However, it will look a hell of a lot better, so I'm definitely glad about that. Uh, next up is one of last year's biggest releases. It is Persona 5, which I never had a chance to play at the time. I just didn't quite get around to it, so I'm definitely looking forward to trying this out. Um, I've never played a Persona game before. I've never played a Shin, Shin Megami Tensei game before. However, what I do like is, just like with Final Fantasy and Tales and other JRPGs, uh, it's it's different every time. You don't have to play all through through the entire backlog in order to understand what's going on because it's it's a new story, new characters every time. So I really enjoy that. What's not a new story, new characters every time though, is Kingdom Hearts. Now, uh, we are still waiting on a date for Kingdom Hearts three, but it is expected to come out some point this year. I've previously done let's plays of one and two, but I never got around to doing let's plays of Chain of Memories, Birth by Sleep. Or the other Kingdom Hearts games, and I, I'm really looking forward to doing that. Uh, I already had the 1.2 and 2.5 individual collections for PS3, but I wanted to get them on on PS4 because now I have pretty much the entire Kingdom Hearts collection on PS4. And uh, also, when I do Let's Plays moving forward in the future, I kind of want to at least start with the most recent up-to-date versions that I can. Uh, like with say with uh, Shadow of the Colossus, I'll be doing the remake before I go back and play the original. I might do the originals as well eventually, but we'll see. Anyways, that's it for the like the new stuff I got. The rest of this is retro and uh, I don't have all that much of it. I do, however, get I did, however, get uh, Blue Dragon, which was the first game from Mistwalker uh, Studios, which is the studio Hironobu Sakaguchi made after he left Square. And Sakaguchi, of course, is the guy who uh, He's the grandfather of, of Final Fantasy, basically, and so I've really enjoyed his games in the past. Plus, he, he also worked with Akira Toriyama on this one and uh, for the art style, and they'd previously worked together on Chrono Trigger. And he also got Nobuo Omatsu to do the music for this, and uh, Omatsu did the music for Final Fantasy 1 through 9, as well as most of 10, and a few bit pieces here and there, and I've, I've always enjoyed his style. I did uh, own this game previously, but I got rid of it at the time because I couldn't stand the voice acting of one of the main characters and I just it didn't hook me at the time however I did uh, try it again more recently and I, I enjoyed it I haven't really gotten too far into it yet but I have been enjoying it and I've been able to overlook my problems with the voice acting that I had at the time and if it really bugs me I can just always switch it over to the Japanese voices so that that really helps things out as well uh, one thing I, I would like to point out is that again I haven't played Persona yet so I don't know how true this is but in Persona, you have, I mean, the name of the game, you have Personas that can fight for you in battles. And in Blue Dragon, you have uh, basically your shadows become monsters and they can fight for you. You can see the, the titular Blue Dragon right here. That's actually this guy's shadow and can fight for him. And that, that I think, is really interesting. Uh, next retro game I got was Sonic 3 for the Genesis. I had never played Sonic 3 before, really. Um, I, I'd maybe touched on it a couple times, but I'd never seriously played through it. And uh, I don't, I didn't get the uh, 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 Sonic and Knuckles. They, 
when I picked this up, they also had the cartridge for Sonic and Knuckles, but with my Genesis games, I'm really trying to, to get them with the boxes instead of the loose carts. And the box for Sonic and Knuckles didn't hold up as well as most Genesis boxes because it was a cardboard, whereas most Genesis boxes were actually uh, plastic like this one. So I haven't gotten the full Sonic 3 experience yet, but I have enjoyed what I've played of, of Sonic 3 so far. Uh, next up is another game I had previously owned, which is Resident Evil Remake for the GameCube. This is the same uh, version of the game that the a recent a HD remaster was based off of. And uh, it, it's pretty enjoyable. I mean, it's classic Resident Evil. It's the original game, just remade to look better and so on. Uh, but the last game I have to talk about is kind of a hidden gem. It's one that I've struggled to find for quite some time. And unfortunately, the original Dreamcast release never made it to North American shores. It made it out of Japan to Europe, but by that point, the Dreamcast was too much dead, so it ended up being released on the Xbox. I am, of course, talking about... Shenmue 2, and uh, I'm very much looking forward to Shenmue 3 coming out next year and the, the 1 and 2 HD collection coming out later this year. So I haven't actually touched on this yet. I haven't played it yet because I'm waiting for that HD collection. But it's it's really nice to have this. I already had Shenmue 1 on the Dreamcast, so it's nice to have 2. So once the HD collections and then Shenmue 3 comes out, I'll have the full trilogy finally. So anyways, that is it for this Gaming Pickups video. We'll have another one at the end of June. Uh, provided I can actually scrounge around to find some stuff to get because there's really only one like one major release I'm looking forward to in June and so I'll probably fill out the rest of it with uh, more recent releases I, I just never got around to getting yet or uh, more retro releases and so on so anyways that's it for now we'll see you guys next time please remember to comment rate and subscribe